I'm going into my room for no good reason. I bet there'll never be a panda in there. <gasps> there is a panda in my room. Uh, hi there. Are you a friendly panda or are you a vicious panda? You don't seem really sure. Jillian? What? Are pandas friendly or vicious? I guess it depends on the context. Well, what if the context is there's a panda standing in your room? There better not be a panda standing in my room. No, there's a panda standing in my room. Oh, that's a relief. I didn't want to think I'd sprayed all that panda repellent in my room for no good reason. You sprayed panda repellent in your room? And it obviously worked because the panda's in your room, not mine. Anyway, you never answered my question. Are pandas friendly or vicious? I don't think they go out of their way to attack people, so you should be good. Good night. Well, Panda, my sister says you're not going to try to attack me. Is that true? Well, is there anything I can do for you? Boy, no one told me that pandas were so poker-faced. I'll be right back. Jillian? Jillian? I told you not to disturb me while I'm napping. This is an emergency. There's a panda in my room and he won't leave. If you ask me, that's not an emergency. It sounds like the situation is stabilized. What's stable about a wild panda standing in my room? Well, is he destroying anything? No. Did he try hurting you? No. Is he breaking any laws? Not really, I guess. Wait a minute. He is! He's trespassing! He's a trespassing panda! A trespassing panda? That's the very worst kind of panda! So you believe me that there's a panda in my room? Why wouldn't I believe you? You have a history of never believing me whenever something invades our house. You know, bees, squirrels, the garbage monster, you know the drill. You're right, I don't believe you, I'm just playing along! Well, I appreciate you humoring me, I guess. You better take a look for yourself. Okie dokie! Look out, Panda! Here I come! Now I know she's just humoring me. Hey, Addy, am I supposed to knock? Why would you need to do that? I don't know. Even pandas deserve privacy. Eh, I guess some sort of heads up wouldn't hurt. All right, Panda, I'm about to open the door. Addy, I don't see a panda. How can you miss a whole panda? He's standing right in front of my desk. Oh, I wasn't looking at your desk. I was looking at your bed. Let me just turn my head slightly to the right here. And... <coughs> That's a panda. Addy, there's a panda in your room. Yeah. Do you think we should name it? Why would naming it be important right now? I was thinking Amanda. Amanda the Panda. Weren't you referring to it as a he before? Yeah, but the name Amanda's just too perfect. It's a girl now. How about a gender neutral name like Terry or Billy? Ooh, ooh. How about Peter Panda? That's not gender neutral. Anyway, we're getting way off track here. What are we going to do about the panda? Hold on, I want to look at that panda again. So that's really there. You see it too, right? Mm-hmm. Well, maybe you could just learn to live with the panda. Easy for you to say. There's not a panda in your room. Well, what do you think we should do about it? I think we should try to chase it away. All right, Addy, just go ahead and rush that panda. I can't do it, it's just too cute. Well, maybe it's looking for something. Don't pandas have to eat pretty much constantly? Yeah, you're right, but 
I think they eat bamboo, and last time I checked, bamboo doesn't grow around this area. Well, maybe we have something like bamboo that it could eat. Isn't there some celery in the fridge? You're right, I'll go get it! <coughs> so, how are things going? How did you even get in here anyway? Ah, so you came in through the window, eh? So much for our security system. Jillian! 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 I found some bamboo! That's celery. Oh yeah! My sister, the botanist. Panda, we didn't have any celery, so I brought this bamboo. I mean, Panda, we didn't have any bamboo, so I brought this celery. What do you say? Ooh, he looks like he really wants it. Addy, he obviously doesn't want it. Who made you an expert on panda gestures? Well, at least I can tell the difference between celery and bamboo. You know what, Panda? If you don't want this, fine. That's just more for me. How is it? It's delicious. Well, Addy, I still think he's hungry. What else do you want to try? Well, bamboo is just basically sticks, right? Uh, not really, but I guess so. Well, there you go. I keep plenty of sticks ready for just such an occasion. So you're telling me you keep plenty of sticks in your room just in case a panda comes in and rejects the celery? Yeah, what's so odd about that? Well, there's a lot that's odd about that, but if you were gonna be prepared, why not at least get bamboo? Because there's so many sticks laying around, duh! Where'd you get that from? I said it was laying around. This isn't rocket science, it's more like stick science. Whatever, let's just see if the panda eats it and goes away. Here, panda, have a nice stick. I mean, bamboo, it's definitely bamboo. It's not just a stick posing as bamboo, it's the real deal. Ooh, it really looks like he does not like that stick. Come on, Panda. I'm not gonna hurt ya. I just want you to eat this stick. Addy, I think you're creeping him out. Eh, more stick for me. Wait, what am I doing? These aren't in season yet. Don't eat sticks, kids. You might think it makes you look cool, but it's just dumb. Maybe we could use this stick to shoo the Panda away. I thought we agreed violence isn't the answer. I never agreed to that. I think it's time we asked a panda expert. Jane Goodall? She studied gorillas. Well, who then? Daddy wrote his master's thesis on pandas. That would have been nice to know ten minutes ago, Jillian. Well, here I am, looking like a fool, shaking a stick at a panda. Whatever, let's just go tell the old man. Hello, girls. He's holding a panda. Why are you petting it all sinister-like? Why are you holding a stick? You're not pretending that's bamboo, are you? What? Oh, I'd never do that. You're a panda expert, right, Daddy? Oh, well, I wouldn't say expert. I mean, I'm more like a panda genius. Boy, he sure takes his panda stuff seriously. Anyway, so let's just say there's a panda in Addy's room, and it's turned down the celery, and it's turned down the stick posing as bamboo. How do we get rid of it? Just theoretically. Yeah, come on, panda prodigy, spill the tea. Well, did you know that bamboo is just another form of grass? So if you can show this theoretical panda where the grass is, the panda will go there. Boy, Jillian, this panda must be really dumb. He walked over a full yard of grass before he got to my window. That kind of sounds like the title of a country music song. Actually, that is a country music song. I'd walk over a whole yard of grass just to get to your window. Do you just keep that cowboy hat handy in case you have to break out into a country music song? Because that's awesome! Doesn't everybody? Anyway, just to recap, show the panda where the grass is, panda leaves, problem solved, thanks! You're welcome.
Hey Panda, there's plenty of fresh grass right outside where you came from. Yeah, grass is just like a little bamboo salad. And I've never tried either, but I'm guessing it tastes better too. He's just standing there. Well, the panda expert didn't predict this. Maybe he's just being shy. If we leave, I bet he'll leave. He or she, Jillian. He or she. Either way, I'm out of here. Tell me when the panda's gone. Well, panda, Jillian's gone now. You sure you don't feel like leaving? What's wrong? Wait a minute, are you dancing? You weren't hungry at all. You just wanted someone to dance with, right? Why didn't you say so? There's plenty of room to dance out here. Come on. Wait a minute, that sounds like a panda dancing. Addie! No, I'm not gonna do this. So that was Panda in our house. Be sure to click that like button. Be sure to check out our other two channels, Baby Teeth Moore and the Jillian and Addie channel. They're a lot of fun. Tell us what you thought about this video on Instagram. We also post new pictures, videos, and stories every day. Thanks, Thanks for watching. Goodbye.